Hey guys, it's Karina, and I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I recently got a couple of books. So this is like my part two of recent book buying or whatever. Okay. So the first one I got was Forbidden by Beverly Jenkins. She is a romantic, historical romance uh, author. And this is actually my first Beverly Jenkins book. Um, I heard about it um, through Jessica, um, who runs Peace Love Books, her YouTube channel, and her friend Lacey. So, they enjoyed this book, so I thought I would give it a shot. Basically, it's about this guy named Reiner. And he is coming back from war or, or something. And he happens to come across this girl named Eddie. Um, uh, she's kind of passing through town and she gets in, in a little bit of trouble. And then she gets um, hurt in the process so Reiner takes care of her and then there is one thing um Reiner is passing off as white apparently he is um a uh, African American and white but he um Pretty, pretty much is ashamed of his other half. Um, and this is a, um, interracial couple. Eddie is, um, African American and, like, way back then, it was forbidden to date someone out of your race. So, I like books that push the boundaries and have a bit of romance because I, myself, I am a huge, huge romantic. Anything romantic related, that has me written all over it. Okay. And then the next book. Well, books. Because both of these are part of a, a series. But I have the first book on Audible. Um, and it was really good. It was shocking. And... It's a enemies to lovers situation kind of book. And let me tell you something. The first book is called um, Cool Intentions. And if you haven't figured it out, there is a movie called cool intentions so it's kind of like that but with extra drama I mean of course it has the wealth the the greed of some people but yeah so this the second book 
in the series. It is called. Oh, hold on. Twisted Betrayal. By Siobhan Davis. Now, the first book left off with a cliffhanger, which I'm not going to get into that book because I don't physically have it with me, but it's on my tablet. But the second book basically picks off right where it ended, which is... um. This girl named Abby, and the guy she has a thing for, um, he, he, um, goes by Camden, or Cam, in the book, but that's not his real name, but he... Changes his name for Pacific reasons. And so she doesn't find out who, in fact, Cam is, is um, truly. And um, she has a very rocky and... Unhinged relationship with her father. Um, she has a twin brother named Drew. And um, Abby is kind of like the, the queen bee in school. And before her and Cam meet, she's um, engaged to another I wouldn't say her her uh, quote unquote fiance is her friend, but he wants to sleep with her most of the time. But she doesn't fall for his um, arrogance and whatever else. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed. The first and second book. Honestly, I haven't read um Sweet Retribution by Siobhan Davis. But I will tell you that because of what happened in the second book, um, Abby is kind of forced to get married to a person who she thought was her friend. Turned out he um, is kind of playing both sides of the the fence so I honestly can't wait to dive right into this book okay and the last one and I got this a couple hours ago it came out on Friday this past Friday um it is Nightfall by Penelope Douglas. It's the fourth and final book in the series. This is about Will and Emery. Um, um, Will is like the, like really emotionally damaged compared to the rest of the guys in the group like Damon 
Michael and Kai. Um, although Damon has his own little screwed upness, but I honestly believe that Will, Will has a um fractured soul. Whatever happened to him and his past really messed him up. But apparently this is a, well, him and Emery weren't exactly friends, but they were civil, I would say. But, um, uh, Will, if you don't know about Will, at least in the third book, Damon's book, where we kind of find out that Will has suddenly disappeared and no one can find him. So, all of the guys and all of the guys, women, try to go find Will at Black Church. Because, um, it's kind of a, like, how it's described in the book, very dirty, dingy, kind of like the real prison system prism, I mean prison system, but very much more high class, I would say, because these people that were put in black church were, are in there for specific reasons, but, um, and as you know, people that have read the the Devil's Night series, you know that Kai, Damon, and Will went to prison for different reasons. And I feel absolutely bad that Will is back in, into that environment. But... Honestly, I thought he was going to end up with Alex. Turns out she ends up with someone else in the book, which I'm kind of happy for and not because I kind of want Mike, I mean, I kind of wanted Will and Alex to get together. But who knows. But I will read um nightfall sometime in the upcoming week. I hope you guys enjoy this little uh, um video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.